See it, read it, Ushuni, Wakozi FM. We are so <laughs> excited to have our broader family come in studio to join us. Spongi Nkobo, Ukozi FM business manager, one of the biggest radio stations in Africa. People don't understand mm. how big this footprint <laughs> is. It's bigger than TV land, baby. And, and I'm not joking. Now, following the success of the launch of Ukozi FM's lifestyle brand, Ushuni Wakozi FM, back in November of 2022, the station brought you Izim Badada, a modern take on Zulu traditional sandals. And now the station is proud to launch its winter range, baby. <laughs> we absolutely love it. Smoggy is here, and she's brought us some gifts. Yes, I feel so changed. fancy. <laughs> you are fancy. I love this. I love the color. <laughs> it's it's, it's pops. striking. It pops. Exactly. It's lovely to have you. Welcome to you. So I must say this. No, we're not one of the biggest stations. We are oh, the biggest oh. station. <laughs> no, for sure, baby, because people don't realize the reach of radio. Mm. So every town, mm. every house in this country has a radio, mm. and you reach them. That's Absolutely. Absolutely. Of the people for the people. I love it. <laughs> and now you have this. Yes. An entire clothing range, which is phenomenal. What, firstly, what motivated this step for the radio station? So um, our listeners love our station, yeah. you know. And, and what they started doing is that they started buying their own T-shirts and putting our logo on it. Wow. Because they wanted to be, you know, associated Represent. with this. Yeah, it so shows you how strong that following is. So yeah. the demand was there already. So yeah. we were like, okay, so Why not? Let's, let's create a, a clothing brand. And here we are. Yeah. <laughs> What is the uptake being like now that they've, there's obviously been the demand? You have this emotional connection to your listeners like no one else. How have they responded now that you've taken this step? Our listeners are so excited. So we started with the shoes, um, which are a traditional um, Zulu shoe. So in the times of Shara Zulu back yeah. in the day, they used to go to war in these shoes. And they'd run for hundreds and hundreds of kilometers wearing the shoes. Sure. So this is something that people wear... Yeah. Um, you know, at, at traditional events and all of that. So we thought, okay, let's start with the shoe. That's the shoe fine. did so well. So we started this in November, yes. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so we started in November, and the sales in December were just incredible. You know, um, you know, we sold, gosh, thousands of pairs. And um, we saw that, you know, people love this. And we're now into winter. So sandals are not popular in winter. Yeah. So we thought, okay, hey, let's do a winter range. We need wings. And now we <laughs> so now we have a whole tracksuit. We've got a dress. Um, we've got bucket hats. We've got beanies. We, we, yeah. The world's our oyster, really. <laughs> yeah, really and the thing is that it's manufactured locally. Yes, Locally absolutely. made, and how does that tap in and tie into the radio station as a yeah. brand? So we are proudly South African. Yeah. You know, we're the biggest brand on the continent, but we are very proudly South African. And um, we worked with um, a guy called Reggie Klaba, who is a Durbanite. Um, he's from Durban, and um, he, he makes shoes, and he made the shoes. And now we are doing the, the, the track suits and the dress, as I had mentioned, and we're doing that through Jam Clothing, which is also a South African brand. So we really are about um, pushing South African brands. Mm. Now, um, and I don't think people realize, if you, you empower one small company, yeah. how many people that can affect. And that's the lifeblood of this country. Absolutely. We need to help these small and medium-sized businesses grow. What this represents to me, and, and I'm, I'm going to get quite kind of, um, <laughs> I'm going to get on my soapbox for a second, but so often we'll see commercial mm. drives telling us where in life we sit. Yes. They tell us that our culture is there. They, they tell a young child exactly where you sit in the socioeconomic scheme of things mm. by the style of the advert, what we have access to. This says so much about where you are as a brand that you can now potentialize and make money out of this, mm. create opportunities for business owners. But all through this, you're telling your listeners what they're worth, what they deserve. Mm. There is something powerful in that. Where that. do you want to take it? <laughs> now that you've discovered, I mean, you could become a, a global fashion house. <laughs> you've got the market already yeah. there. Look, we have... Um, close to 8 million listeners um, that um, tune into our radio station every week. Oh, and oh. Um, we, we just want to tell our listeners that we love them so much. And because they showed us that they want something, we've then responded to that. And that's what, of course, FM is about. We listen to what our listeners say, and then we make sure that we then respond to what their needs and their wants are. 
So yes, we, we, we are just about that. We, we really, really want to show them that they are important to us and they matter. Yeah, well, I can't wait to see how this fashion sure. angle is going to develop as part of the radio station. Look, well. this is the thing. We, yeah. we are taking radio to another level, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not it's just not, radio. Anymore. It's people. We've man. done it all. I it's mean, a I, Yeah, it's a lifestyle. But also, I mean, um, just to talk about something else that we've done, we've got of course FM TV. So we've got a vodcast that we do as a, as a station. So again, we know that um, our younger listeners love to see it's visual. Video, yeah, video, so, so, yeah. yeah, so they love <laughs> they love to see our presenters. Yeah. They love to see content, and it's not about listening only. So we've created that. So it's all about responding to the demand that's created by our listeners. Yeah. How, do, how do we buy it? How do we yeah. get it? Where do we get it? Not well, <laughs> no. Yeah. So so we are at Gem um, stores nationwide. So any, anywhere you can find a gem clothing store, um, that's where you'll find our clothing. Oh. If it's still left on the rail, and there we I have it. it's going to go really if, quickly. If you were yeah. asking how much um, you can see, it is definitely very much affordable. Sweatpants, two seventy five, hoodie, two seventy five. I mean, come on. I mean, I love the fact that you kept that in mind as well with the, cost, the price yeah. point. It's very important that um, you know we make it. Um, something that is accessible to our listeners. Yeah. So we also thought about that, and we were very intentional about this brand and our clothing range. So, yeah, everyone oh, can get... It, as we understand, as of the 2nd of May, officially, Tomorrow. which yeah. means that we have got these... <laughs> ...before anyone else. <laughs> which is absolutely amazing. But I love this representation <laughs> of culture, of connection, of community. Yes, because of how it looks, it's amazing, it's a great representation, but it matters because it's advancing clothing manufacturers, it's advancing the entire market, and it proves how much you, the listener, and yes, our viewers, <laughs> how much you matter to this broader family because you really, really do. And now you can just look amazing. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Find a jam store tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs>